Hello folks, if you have ever been interested in order to develop your own first iOS application, then you are in the right place. I am Mohsin Sharif and I am going to teach you how to develop your own first iOS application by using Swift. There are two language choices when it comes to build your first iOS application. You can choose Objective-C, Apple first, older and mature programming language. Or you can choose Swift, new, easy to learn, open source and keep growing language developed by Apple. Determining which language you should choose is based on your primary goal. If you want to become a full-time iOS application developer, then you need to know the both. If you are already an experienced developer in C, then you can start with Objective-C as it is based on C language. Objective-C has been around for 30 years and being a full-time iOS application developer, you need to know the Objective-C first so that you can jump into the company's old application written in Objective-C code to understand what's going on. If you are a newbie and want to learn iOS application development, then you should start with Swift. In this video, I will explain a few aspects why you should choose Swift over Objective-C as a beginner. First, Swift is easy to learn and is easy to read the code as is closely resembled with the English language. The second, speeding of code. Swift reduces up to 60% line of code which is required by the repetitive statement and is human friendly. For example, the Lyft application which is written in Objective-C was converted to the Swift language. They reduces up to 70% line of code for the whole application. Number three, easy to maintain. Objective-C had a complex two file system such as header file and a code implementation files. But Swift is a unified file system which means you will be having only one file which is really easy to maintain. Number four, Swift had a better memory management system than Objective-C which is really good for a new developer because it will make development lifecycle much easier. Number five, the performance. Swift is 2.6 times faster than Objective-C because of having the automatic reference counting and dynamic libraries. But Objective-C is lacking in terms of ARC, which is not available in many libraries such as Core Graphic. Lastly, operating system. By using Objective-C, developer was only able to develop the application for the Apple product operating system such as iOS, Apple TV, watchOS and macOS. But now by using Swift, developers are able to develop the application for the Linux and for the Windows operating system as well. That's all for today. If you have any suggestion or feedback, please feel free to leave it on the comment section below. Please stay tuned with us. I'll be back soon with other helpful videos.